This is Ben Schmerler, and today I'm joined by Casey Chafin. Casey works on DP Solutions Service Desk. Hi everyone, I'm excited to share this information with our viewers. We've noticed that many of our clients aren't aware of some of the simple yet helpful things they can do using keyboard shortcuts, also called hotkeys. So today, Casey and I are going to walk you through some of the simple keyboard shortcuts that will help you be more effective. Cut, copy, and paste. This is one of the easiest and most useful shortcuts for people who do a lot of writing in Word, Outlook, or really any application with significant typing. To copy selected items to the clipboard, press Ctrl plus the letter C. To cut those same items to the clipboard, press Ctrl plus X. To paste the items once you've copied or pasted it, press Ctrl plus V. To select all content on the page, press Ctrl plus A. And to highlight specific content, Press the shift key plus the arrow buttons on your keyboard. Now, Casey will demonstrate. First, highlight your text with your mouse. You can also hold the shift key while using the arrows on your keyboard to highlight text. Or, you can select all the content by pressing Ctrl plus A. By holding Ctrl plus C simultaneously, you will copy that text to the clipboard without having to click. Same for Ctrl plus X, except this will remove the text and cut it to the clipboard instead. Once you find out where you want to insert that copied or cut text, simply press Ctrl plus V to paste. This is one of our favorite shortcuts, and we hope you will find it as useful as we do. Undoing and redoing document edits. One common issue people tend to have is accidental deletions or formatting a document incorrectly. While there are buttons in the Microsoft Word toolbar that can help adjust or fix this, it's often much easier just to use some simple keyboard commands. These shortcuts are Ctrl plus Z to undo an action, or Ctrl plus Y to redo an action. When you press Ctrl plus Z, the last major action is reverted, and you can do this for several iterations. If you just wrote a really great paragraph and then your hand slipped as you highlighted and deleted the text, this is a lifesaver. Maybe after hitting undo a few times, you realize you've gone too far and need to get some of that text or formatting back. No problem. Simply press Ctrl plus Y and the previous undo action will be reverted back. These shortcuts are particularly helpful to people using laptops, as it's easy to accidentally hit the touchpad. Task Manager Sometimes, with Windows PCs, things just sort of feel slow. Running many things at once takes a toll on the RAM, or memory, on your PC. So getting familiar with the Task Manager could help you clear out some memory and speed things up. To open the Task Manager, press Control, Shift, and Escape at the same time. You will see a small window open up. And while there's a lot you can see here, the key piece should be the Processes tab, which lists the apps and background processes you are currently running. You'll just want to check out the Apps section. Take a look and see if there are any apps that are consuming a large portion of memory. In this example on Casey's screen, we can see that she's using way more memory on Firefox than her other applications. By clicking the app and then clicking End Task, that memory is cleared up and her experience could improve immediately. Of course, not all slowness issues are caused by this, but a good chunk of them are, so this is a good first step and a helpful thing for the average person to know how to do. Extending and duplicating screens. Many people are using multiple screens now. Sometimes, that means they directly hook up to two monitors to a desktop or laptop, or they broadcast their screen wirelessly for a presentation. Windows offers many options for this, but most people don't know that with a simple command, they can make quick adjustments. By pressing Windows plus P in Windows 10, a small menu should pop up from the side. Most of the time, just by connecting the second monitor to your PC, you will probably be in extend mode, which means that you will have one big desktop spread out over two monitors. But you can also click or use the arrow keys to duplicate the screen so that both screens are identical or perhaps shut off one screen or the other if you find that you don't actually need both monitors at that time. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to keyboard shortcuts. Check out the cheat sheet we've linked at the end of this video to help you learn more about more shortcuts that are available to you. What are your favorite keyboard shortcuts? Let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching this video and be sure to check out our other Tech Tips videos.